Anthro Magazine. My name is Anya Lasala, and today is March 21st. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the shelter at home order and its, um, its purpose. And in the midst of all this uncertainty and isolation, life completely changing around us for everyone, it's a big comfort for me to know that what we're doing will have a positive impact. I mean, it. It's really hard, but following the shelter at home order, I realized is we're doing our part to to curb the spread of the pandemic. We're we're doing our part to stop the spread of the virus, and I um, I think that's really important. And I'm I'm glad that California is doing this. Um, it, it makes me feel a lot better to know that this is really helping people. I just read a Palo Alto Online article earlier this morning uh, about people finding a new normal with our lives under the shelter at home order. And um, I, I, I read through it and I think it's kind of what everyone's doing right now, trying to find a new normal to keep living, keep doing things while this is happening, uh, because it's Im it's important for us to keep living and it's important for us to follow the order. Um, I've, my family at least has been trying to adapt. We've set up structures, um, times for me so that I know when I'm working, when I exercise, when I go talk to people because, um, social interaction is still important though, hard. And, um, um, uh, Pally just put out a, um, uh, the Pally's principal just put out a, a notice about um, how we are entering phase two of the flexible learning options at our school right now, which means that um, the one hour of coursework for each class is going to be up to three hours a week. Um, so we're, I guess, getting back into um, the school's new normal, doing education in this new age. One thing that I'm really worried about right now is um, uh, resources with healthcare. Uh, I was just talking to my mom's boyfriend who is an ER doctor and um, he told me that what he's worried about is the, is the resources that hospitals might have to keep caring for everyone because um, just because this pandemic is happening doesn't mean that people don't get hurt and it doesn't mean that people don't need care so they're still working crazy insane long shifts and um, he tells me about every time they uh, they have to go and meet with someone who um, who may be who may have um, the virus they have all this gear to put on he said that um, this is really admirable of him and all healthcare officials, I think, right now during this time. He said that his goal right now is to just keep helping people. And he said that he's really grateful to do that, which makes me really glad that there are still people like that who are being selfless and just trying to help people. Um, the healthcare officials right now are awesome. You guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And um, I hope that we still have the resources to deal with everything that's happening right now. 